Ladies and gentlemen, we drop the name of the opening contest tonight. It is official. Dante Bishop versus Eel O'Neal. Bring that stuff for the rest of the heavyweight championship. All right, well, it's time for your second match of the night. Are you ready? The following contest is a pro-wrestling match. It's a history with. I've been in the ring with both Joe King and Demented Bradley. I know what they are capable of. They're two bad men with a lot of experience and are both wild cards in and of themselves. But Joe King, over 20 year veteran, knows a thing or two about the string and him and Demented Bradley have been tearing it up before they go. But they got the tough challenge tonight of Mad Max, Morrison, and Oak. What are your thoughts on that? You know, real life freaks, they've been going, well, probably the top people in the tag team division right now here at Next Up Pro Wrestling. You know, they tried to, they've been challenging for those tag team titles, which are currently held by Grapple Vices. You know, it's only a matter of time that these two hold championship gold. It's only a matter of time, but Mad Max, you never know what he's up to, capable of doing. Classic, one of the best here next up. Let's see what they bring to the table as a tag team against the experienced tag team vets here of the Real Life Freaks. And let's not forget, Savannah, we got Jovi Six on the outside of the ring. Joe King starting off. Little job jacking going on right now. So the real life freaks, you're talking about Grapple Vices earlier, the current next up tag team champions. You know they have to be watching this match. You know both these teams, they want a title shot really bad. They've got to have their eyes glued on this, both Wes and Sin. Wes and Sin winning those championship titles from um, the last tag team champions. You know, and yeah, you're right. Obviously, you know, they have their eyes on these two. We said earlier, Joe Kitten now, he's over 20 year veteran here in the game. And oh, pretty new to the game from what I understand but never count out the experience of Joe King. But right now, Joe King has dropped out that atomic drop. We're in the wrong corner. And he's 
Mad Max slapped across the face. Oh, that hard head of the headbanger Mad Max Morris in Savannah. <laughs> See Mad Max with that tag. I've been headbutted before by Mad Max. It's not the not a pleasant experience, let me tell you. But here you see Savannah, even though this is my first time seeing Oak and Mad Max together, they are working like a well-oiled machine here, an experienced tag team. They're isolating one member of the team and cutting the ring in half like a pro tag team should. Right, yes, definitely showing their experience. And also, you know, that ring psychology, trying to get inside both of their heads to try to wear them down. Mad Max, I said earlier, and I know it's been many years, he's been in other tag teams has had ta held tag team gold in other places. Let's see him bring some gold here to his tag team with Oak here tonight. Beautiful move by Max. Honestly, you know, with the experience Mad Max has, you see that he's taking Oak under his wing. Yes. Absolutely he is. And Oak, you know, like I said earlier, my first time seeing Oak was that match with Victor Walker. And maybe he needs someone like Max to kind of guide him and mold him to where he needs to be. Don't you agree there? I agree. You see Oak, now the legal person in the ring, taking it to Joe King in the corner. Demented Bradley has not been in this, this match yet. Really shows the strategy here of Oak and Max. They've isolated Joe King. They've kept him as far away from Demented Bradley as possible. And Oak calls himself the stray dog as we... Oh, wait! Oak calls himself the stray dog. Let's see how Rabney can be here. And Bradley in with the tag. We got the fresh man, Demented Bradley, taking it right to Oak. Burying him in the corner. Big headbutt by Demented Bradley there. We still have that X Factor at ringside there with Jovi Six. But Mad Max bringing the X Factor of his own, uh, what he calls Fang, that severed foot he brings to ringside. Clothesline by Demented Bradley. And Bradley's no small guy. That's 280 pounds running right into you. You're right. going to fall down no matter who you are. So now I think, Savannah, we're seeing the tag team experience of the real-life freak. They've taken over this matchup. See, oh, kicking out of that. Oak is still alive. He calls himself the stray dog. So he's had a lot of fight in him. But could this fight be too much? Oh! As he goes straight down. You know, the thing with stray dogs, it takes a lot to put them down. Yes, it does. You know, Oak is a person that has a lot of grit. Big back suplex by Bradley. I've been on the receiving end of that, too. It is it's not good. <laughs> Bradley with only a two count there. See Oak crawling back to Mad Max. Demented Bradley not letting him. That's the thing about the freaks here. These guys, as I said earlier, this is my first time seeing Oak and Max as a team. I'm not sure how often they've teamed before, but this is my first time seeing them, so I don't think they've been tagging too much before, but the freaks, they've been a tag team for a while now, at least a couple of years. So that just shows the experience factor here. What well, we've seen earlier here at Next Up, Oak had some issues with Billy Dixon and Elijah Fryer from New York City. Yeah. You know, isolate. You no, know, for we don't know why isolating Oak, and then you know we see Mad Max to Oak's rescue. So you know, who knows uh, what may happen with them in New York City in the future? You That's know, they're still in this. Um, there's still a factor in this tag team division. Absolutely. And never, you can never count out the tag team champs with the grapple of vices. And as I was saying earlier, you got this, the tag team experience here of the real life freaks definitely paying off. And Joe King now, this could be it. No. Still more action to come. Still more tag teams to see tonight. Should be a great night of action here. As we got Joe King with that headbutt. A lot of headbutts in this match. Jeez. Well, I felt that <laughs> way over here. I don't think Oak knows where he's at right now. Well, 
He's not in a good place, I know that, so maybe it's for the better as Oak is crawling to the corner there. Oh! Ooh. That makes me happy I'm commentating tonight. A <laughs> chop like that, let me tell you. Crowd's chanting for one more. Big right by Demented Bradley. Followed up by a second chop. As we see a rolling toward Mad Max's direction. That could be a mistake as Oak is a little too close to his tag partner. If he gets free, he got a fresh Mad Max Morrison. Oak is up. Oak is up. He's going for the tag. What's he doing? Oak firing back. Oak caught. You know, I can tell you from my experience in the tag teams, Oak kind of did that to himself. He had the chance for the tag. Got a little overzealous. Luckily, they're going to put Spinebuster out. He's going for the tag. You can't make it the pinfall here. But that's the thing about tag team wrestling. You have to make the best of an opportunity to make the tag. If you've been getting beaten down like that, you have to make the tag to your partner. But like I said, this is their first time in the team, and Oak is the stray dog. He's a little wild. Hopefully, Max can bring him in a little bit. Ref starting his count. And here comes the tag to Max Morrison. The big headbutt. Enough. You know, two people, I'm not surprised they know each other. You know, they've been uh, against each other here in the Mid-Atlantic. They know each other in and out. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. What? Elijah Friday from Elijah. New York City with the chair. What is going on? Wait, right in front of the referee. Where's the belt? What is going on what here? What is going on? Elijah Friday. Costing the match. This is ridiculous. They had such a great match going. Elijah Friday now coming with a chair and attacking Oak. The winner of this match as a result of a disqualification. Oh, and Mad Max Morrison. No, Friday's still attacking Max and Oak. Friday's definitely proving his point here, attacking Max and Oak. Let's see what he's saying to the freaks here. Has an envelope in his hand. What is this? What the? What the? Handing the envelope to Jovi Six now. Elijah, for, what is. Oh, die! Devastating chair shot to the back. Should be some kind of payment? Paying off the freaks and taking it right to Mad Max with that steel chair. Oak still on the outside. Mad Max, the lone wolf. He's bent that chair over Max's back. Oak is still down. Friday's not done yet. Friday is not done yet. Get a referee. Let's end. Someone. Somebody needs to get security. Somebody. Somebody needs to get, the, get this man out of here. He's got that steel chair. He's going crazy on Max and Oak, taking them both out. Oh, no. What's this? What's this? No. No, no, no. no. Devastating! Stop! Get, get a ref! Get, ring the bell! Something! Obviously, Billy Dixon not here. Elijah Friday taking these two by himself. As I said before, you know, ongoing saga between these two. Recognize who we be. Some of the EMTs out here, somebody, Mad Max has got to be in bad shape. I know there's a medical facility nearby.